What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite NFL analyst here, and today, we've got a really exciting and intriguing topic that's bound to have everyone talking. If you're a Steelers fan or even just an NFL enthusiast this one is for you. We've got some explosive news coming from Mike Tomlin, the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, after their big win against the Baltimore Ravens. Tomlin, as always, doesn't hold back when it comes to his comments, but what he said about Justin Fields and the future of the Steelers' quarterback position is truly noteworthy. This isn't just a typical post-game interview Tomlin's words have sent a strong signal to both the locker room and the NFL community at large. So, whether you're a Steelers die-hard, a Bears fan, or just someone who loves NFL drama, you're going to want to stick around. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and let's dive in. First off, let's talk about the game. The Pittsburgh Steelers went into that rivalry matchup against the Baltimore Ravens in a critical spot. They've been fighting to stay competitive in the AFC North, and after some tough weeks, they managed to come out on top in this one. It wasn't a pretty game by any means, but it was a hard-fought victory that showed what the Steelers are made of. Let's not forget that defense was, as usual, the backbone of this win. TJ Watt was a monster forcing turnovers and consistently putting pressure on Lamar Jackson. The Ravens couldn't get anything going offensively due to that relentless defense. But here's the kicker, the Steelers' offense has been under the microscope. In recent weeks, the play at quarterback has been inconsistent. Kenny Pickett, the young QB, has shown flashes, but he's also struggled to string together solid performances. With the Steelers coming off a much-needed win and with the playoff race heating up, the talk in Pittsburgh quickly turned to the future of the offense. That's when Mike Tomlin's comments after the game got everyone's attention. Let's break down exactly what he said and why it's such a big deal. I'm proud of the win, but there are areas we still need to clean up. As for the future of this team, especially at the quarterback position it's a conversation we're still having. We have to do what's best for the Steelers, now and in the long term. And that might involve looking at some things we haven't explored yet. Whoa, hold up, did you catch that? Mike Tomlin, a guy who's coached the Steelers for over 15 years, is throwing a little shade while also opening the door to change. He's acknowledging that while the team got the win, there's a lot of room for improvement, and when it comes to the quarterback position, he's not committed to just one guy. Now, that's intriguing on its own, but here's where things get even more interesting. Look, Justin Fields is a talented quarterback. We've been keeping an eye on his situation in Chicago. He's a dynamic player who brings a lot to the table, and if there's an opportunity to improve this team, we won't hesitate to explore it. But we're not going to make knee-jerk decisions. It's about the long-term vision for this team. Hold on, Mike Tomlin just said something that's made a lot of noise in NFL circles, we've been keeping an eye on his situation in Chicago. That's right Tomlin and the Steelers brass have been closely monitoring Justin Fields, the Chicago Bears quarterback. For a guy who's been as tight-lipped as Tomlin, this is about as close to an open endorsement as you're going to get. And let's be real this is a huge deal because Fields is one of the most talked about quarterbacks in the NFL right now. If you're unfamiliar with Fields, here's a quick rundown. The 2021 first-round pick out of Ohio State was drafted by the Chicago Bears with hopes of reviving the franchise. He's got all the physical tools he's strong, fast, and can make throws that very few quarterbacks in this league can. The problem? The Bears coaching staff, offensive line, and supporting cast have struggled to provide Fields with the resources to develop into a consistent star. Despite the Bears' struggles, Fields has flashed brilliance. We've seen him make jaw-dropping runs, turning broken plays into touchdowns. But his development has been hindered by inconsistent coaching, a shaky offensive line, and an underwhelming supporting cast. That's led to a lot of questions surrounding his future in Chicago, especially after a rough start to the season. With the Bears now looking like they might be heading into another rebuilding phase, the possibility of Fields being traded has been on everyone's radar. So why would Mike Tomlin and the Steelers be interested in a guy like Justin Fields? Let's be honest here Kenny Pickett is still a work in progress. While he's shown some good moments, he hasn't fully locked down the QB1 role. There have been flashes of potential, but also frustrating inconsistencies. The Steelers have had to rely on their defense to win games more often than not, and their offense is still searching for that spark. 
He brings a completely different dynamic to the table. Fields is a dual threat quarterback. He's capable of making plays with his legs, which is something the Steelers' offense has lacked for years. Imagine Fields in Matt Canada's system, with the play action and rolling out options that could open up the field. His ability to break off big runs would also provide the Steelers with that much needed element of unpredictability. But here's where it gets complicated Fields' development has been far from perfect. Yes, he can make those highlight real plays, but his accuracy has been an issue, especially on deep throws. He's still learning how to read defenses at the NFL level, and his decision making under pressure hasn't always been top tier. So the question becomes would bringing him to Pittsburgh be a smart move? Or would the Steelers risk stunting his growth, just like the Bears have? Let's compare the numbers. Justin Fields has thrown for 1,500 yards, 8 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions so far this season. On the other hand, Kenny Pickett has 1,200 yards, 6 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. The numbers are relatively close, but there's a noticeable difference when you factor in the impact Fields can have with his legs. Fields averages about 50-60 yards rushing per game and that's a dimension Pickett simply hasn't provided consistently. Imagine the threat Fields could pose in Pittsburgh's offense with a stronger supporting cast. The upside is clear. However, there's a major caveat, Fields has struggled with accuracy, especially on deep throws, and his decision-making isn't always the sharpest. He's been known to force passes into tight windows and can be inconsistent with his mechanics. Would the Steelers, a team built on defense and ball control, be willing to take that risk? Now, let's step back for a second and talk about what Mike Tomlin's comments really mean. Is he seriously considering a move for Justin Fields, or is this simply a warning shot to Kenny Pickett? Tomlin has never been a coach to settle for mediocrity. He's a competitor, and he's seen what it takes to win championships in the NFL. If he feels that Fields represents an upgrade, even if it's a risky one, he's not going to hesitate to make that move. But at the same time, He's been clear that the Steelers are not going to make knee-jerk decisions. This is about the long-term vision for the team, and that's something Tomlin has always been focused on. So, what does this all mean for the future of the Steelers? Well, folks, things are about to get interesting. We've got a team that's been successful defensively but still has question marks on offense. Mike Tomlin isn't afraid to make tough decisions, and the possibility of bringing in Justin Fields is a game-changer. Whether it's a warning shot to Pickett or a genuine interest in Fields, we're watching one of the most interesting quarterback battles in the NFL right now. What do you think, Steelers Nation? Should the Steelers make a play for Fields? Is it time to move on from Kenny Pickett, or should they continue to develop him? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth NFL analysis. I'll see you next time until then, take care and enjoy the football season.